part of the Will Smith, man. Some downships for you. So let's go ahead and take some time to cover our complete parts list for a stage three build for the S6. Starting off with number one. For this build, we chose the HPA Motorsports RS7 Hybrid Turbos. These turbos or any equivalent RS7 replacement turbo is really gonna take any S6, S7 to basically like your off the shelf stage three level. So guys, moving on to the next piece of the puzzle here. That of course is gonna be an oil feed line relocation kit. These kits do include serviceable filters that you can change on basically any routine maintenance interval. So you're not gonna have to worry about problems with clogged oil screens, horrific catastrophes. You can pretty much move on and put that problem behind you. Moving along to our next piece here, guys. As far as cooling, we went with the JH Motorsports heat exchanger. This is a clean bolt an upgrade for any 3.0T or 4.0T car. Very simplistic installation, drops right in, not too complicated. As you guys know, the 4.0T is a twin turbo V8, produces a massive amount of heat, so we wanna do everything we can to address cooling, to prevent the car from heat soaking and ultimately losing power. Now, as far as software on the car, we are gonna be running APR Stage 3 with the RS7 Turbo File, and of course, the matching APR DSG Tune. I can't stress it enough, guys. You gotta go with the DSG Tune, better shift points, Increase clutch clamping pressure. It's gonna help support these high torque files. So always wanna make sure that you have matching ECU and TCU software. Next on the list guys, ignition. This is another really important department here. We went ahead and picked up a nice set of eight OEM RS7 spark plugs. I would always suggest if you haven't already, take a look at the manufacturer's recommended gap specs based on whatever tune you're gonna be running. You always wanna make sure to follow those guidelines to keep your motor happy. Now, as far as air intakes, air filters, this is really totally up to the person, however you decide to approach this. Now, how that pertains to our particular S6 build here, I'm actually going with a very simple k and washable lifetime drop-in filter. This is a very cost-effective upgrade. It's gonna get rid of that paper air filter. And of course, we're gonna save some money. We don't have to necessarily fork over a thousand bucks on some fancy carbon fiber box. If you choose to do so, that is totally your choice. I'm not against it by any means. If you choose to go with some type of aftermarket air intake, I would definitely stay on the side of a closed style intake. That way you're not gonna be pulling in all that hot engine bay air, which typically does result in a loss of power. You guys might have also seen the recent video I had done about the PCV oil separator. This is a very common point of failure on the 4.0T. This piece is buried pretty deep in the engine bay within the valley of the motor. So you wanna make sure if you're gonna tear into this thing, if you're gonna get into a full build, if you have not taken care of your PCV oil separator, now is the time. Now, one other piece I would recommend picking up for any four liter build, that would be the JH Motorsports throttle inlet pipe. So you can see these two silicone pieces they fit very nicely simple clean drop and replacement as you guys know a lot of these rubber silicone pieces do wear out over time so this is a good way to make sure that everything is sealed up appropriately and to go ahead and wrap it up guys liquid molly 5w40 molly gen always want to do everything you can to promote health and longevity for these motors molly gen does of course have your Ceratec, your friction modifiers all that good stuff to help keep up and reduce your wear and tear if you guys take a look on the software side as far as what we can expect as far as our projected horsepower and torque figures, you can see APR Stage 3, the RS7 turbos running 93 octane. We're looking at around 634 horsepower and 670-ish pound-feet of torque. So we're definitely approaching big boy power. So looking forward to making some serious gains. And I can't wait to take the first drive to give you guys an awesome reaction. So that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's build overview, guys, for the Stage 3 Audi S6. I hope you guys find this information helpful and informative. Anybody that's looking to build one of these cars, I always like to take a time to sort of lay the framework so you know exactly what components are needed for each particular build. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Have a great day.